Would you like free audiobooks? Click the link in the description. Question 1. What is the basic unit of life? A. Organ. B. Tissue. C. Cell. D. Organ system. Answer, C. Cell. Rationale, the cell is the basic unit of life. All living organisms are made up of cells, which are the smallest units that can perform all life processes. Tissues, organs, and organ systems are made up of groups of cells that work together for more complex functions. Question 2. Which of the following is a function of the skeletal system? A. Gas exchange. B. Hormone regulation. C. Support and protection. D. Digestion. Answer, C. Support and protection. Rationale, the skeletal system provides structural support for the body, protects internal organs, and allows for movement in conjunction with the muscular system. It also plays roles in blood cell production and mineral storage. Question 3. The heart is enclosed in a double-walled sac, called the A. Pericardium B. Myocardium C. Endocardium D. Epicardium Answer, A. Pericardium Rationale, the pericardium is the double-walled sac that encloses the heart. It provides protection and reduces friction between the heart and surrounding structures during heartbeats. Question 4. Which type of tissue is responsible for pumping blood throughout the body? A. Epithelial tissue. B. Connective tissue. C. Muscle tissue. D. Nervous tissue. Answer, C. Muscle tissue. Rationale, muscle tissue is responsible for producing movement. The heart's muscular layer, the myocardium, contracts to pump blood throughout the body. Question 5. Which system is primarily responsible for transporting nutrients, gases, and waste products throughout the body? A. Digestive system. B. Circulatory system. C. Respiratory system. D. Lymphatic system. Answer. B. Circulatory system. Rationale, the circulatory system, consisting of the heart, blood vessels, and blood, is responsible for transporting nutrients, gases, such as oxygen and carbon dioxide, and waste products throughout the body. Question 6. What is homeostasis? A. The process of cell division. B. The body's ability to maintain a stable internal environment. C. The breakdown of nutrients to release energy. D. The production of body heat. Answer, B. The body's ability to maintain a stable internal environment. Rationale, homeostasis is the process by which the body maintains a stable internal environment, despite changes in external conditions. This includes the regulation of temperature, pH, hydration, and other vital conditions. Question 7. Which organ system is responsible for removing waste products from the bloodstream? A. Respiratory system. B. Digestive system. C. Urinary system. D. Integumentary system. Answer, C. Urinary system. Rationale, the urinary system, which includes the kidneys, ureters, bladder, and urethra, is responsible for filtering blood and removing waste products in the form of urine. Question 8. The absorption of nutrients occurs primarily in the A. Stomach B. Liver C. Small intestine D. Large intestine Answer, C. Small intestine Rationale the small intestine is the primary site for the absorption of nutrients. Its lining is covered in villi, which increase the surface area for absorption. Question 9. Which part of the brain is responsible for regulating heart rate, breathing, and blood pressure? 
A. Cerebrum. B. Cerebellum. C. Brainstem. D. Hypothalamus. Answer, C. Brainstem. Rationale, the brainstem regulates vital functions, including heart rate, breathing, and blood pressure. It acts as a relay center, connecting the cerebrum and cerebellum to the spinal cord. Question 10. Which hormone regulates blood sugar levels? A. Insulin. B. Adrenaline. C. Estrogen. D. Thyroxine. Answer, A. Insulin. Rationale, insulin, a hormone produced by the pancreas, regulates blood sugar levels by facilitating the uptake of glucose into cells, thereby lowering blood glucose levels. Question 11. What is the primary function of red blood cells? A. Fight infection. B. Clot blood. C. Carry oxygen. D. Regulate water balance. Answer, C. Carry oxygen. Rationale, red blood cells, erythrocytes, are primarily responsible for carrying oxygen from the lungs to the rest of the body and returning carbon dioxide from the body to the lungs for exhalation. Question 12. Which type of joint is found in the shoulder and hip and allows for a wide range of movement? A. Hinge joint. B. Ball and socket joint. C. Pivot joint. D. Saddle joint. Answer, B, ball and socket joint. Rationale, ball and socket joints, found in the shoulder and hip, allow for rotational movement and a wide range of movement in many directions. Question 13. The process by which an organism's internal environment is kept stable in spite of changes in the external environment is called A. Metabolism. B. Catabolism. C. Homeostasis. D. Osmosis. Answer, C. Homeostasis. Rationale, homeostasis is the process by which organisms maintain a stable internal environment, crucial for survival, despite changes in external conditions. Question 14. Which layer of the skin is responsible for its strength and elasticity? A. Epidermis. B. Dermis. C. Hypodermis. D. Stratum corneum. Answer, B. Dermis. Rationale, the dermis is the layer of skin beneath the epidermis that contains tough connective tissue, hair follicles, and sweat glands. It's responsible for the skin's strength and elasticity. Question 15. What is the primary function of the lymphatic system? A. To digest and absorb dietary fats. B. To produce movement. C. To transport blood and oxygen. D. To defend the body against infection. Answer, D. To defend the body against infection. Rationale, the lymphatic system plays a crucial role in the body's immune response. It transports lymph, a fluid containing infection-fighting white blood cells, throughout the body. Question 16. Which gland is known as the master gland of the endocrine system? A. Thyroid gland. B. Adrenal gland. C. Pancreas. D. Pituitary gland. Answer, D. Pituitary gland. Rationale. The pituitary gland is often referred to as the master gland because it controls the functions of many other endocrine glands. Question 17. What is the primary function of the alveoli in the lungs? A. To warm the air. B. To remove carbon dioxide from the body. C. To produce mucus. D. To facilitate the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Answer, D, to facilitate the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Rationale, 
Alveoli are tiny sacs within the lungs where the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place. Oxygen from inhaled air diffuses into the blood, and carbon dioxide from the blood diffuses into the alveoli to be exhaled. Question 18. What is the main purpose of the digestive system? A. To circulate blood. B. To control body temperature. C. To break down food and absorb nutrients. D. To remove waste products from the body. Answer, C, to break down food and absorb nutrients. Rationale, the primary function of the digestive system is to break down food into smaller molecules that can be absorbed into the bloodstream and used by the body's cells for energy, growth, and repair. Question 19. The peripheral nervous system is composed of A. The brain and spinal cord. B. The autonomic and somatic nervous systems. C. The sensory and motor neurons. D. Both B and C. Answer, D. Both B and C. Rationale, the peripheral nervous system includes the autonomic, controls involuntary actions, and somatic, controls voluntary actions, nervous systems, as well as sensory and motor neurons that connect the central nervous system, brain and spinal cord, to the rest of the body. Question 20. Which blood type is considered the universal donor? A. A. B. B. C. A and B. D. O. Answer, D. O. Rationale. Blood type O is considered the universal donor because it can be given to individuals of any blood type, especially O negative which does not have any A, B, or Rh antigens on the red blood cells. Question 21. The process by which bone is formed, renewed, and repaired is called A. Hematopoiesis B. Ossification C. Calcification D. Homeostasis Answer, B. Ossification Rationale, ossification is the process by which bone tissue is formed, renewed, and repaired. It is essential for bone growth, healing, and maintenance. Question 22. The major muscle used in respiration that separates the chest cavity from the abdominal cavity is the A. Diaphragm B. Pectoralis major C. Intercostal muscles D. Abdominal obliques. Answer, A. Diaphragm. Rationale, the diaphragm is the primary muscle used in breathing. It contracts to allow for the expansion of the lungs during inhalation and relaxes during exhalation. Question 23. What is the primary function of hemoglobin found in red blood cells? A. To defend against pathogens. B. To clot blood. C. To carry oxygen. D. To regulate blood pressure. Answer, C. To carry oxygen. Rationale, hemoglobin is a protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen from the lungs to the rest of the body and returns carbon dioxide from the body to the lungs. Question 24. Which part of the neuron receives signals from other neurons? A. Axon. B. Dendrites. C. Cell body. D. Myelin sheath. Answer, B. Dendrites. Rationale, dendrites are the branch-like structures of neurons that receive messages from other neurons and conduct these messages towards the cell body. Question 25. The movement of substances across a cell membrane without the need for energy is called A. Active transport. B. Osmosis. C. Phagocytosis. D. Passive transport. Answer, D. Passive transport. Rationale, passive transport is the movement of substances across a cell membrane without the need for energy input. 
This can include processes, like diffusion and osmosis, where substances move along a concentration gradient. Visit nursestudy.net for more nursing practice exams, care plans, and study guides.